Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and wherever you're watching from today, uh, welcome to another On Demand uh, podcast brought to you by the guys here at Acorn. And uh, you know what we've been doing is we've been reviewing you know sort of the reason behind our rebrand, you know, in advance we ran uh, recently throughout Ireland, and we've been introducing some of our you know key business partners that sit within the uh, seeds marketplace. Uh, one of them here today with me, uh, Ali from Kodos. Ali, you want to sort of introduce yourselves? Hi, Johnny. How's it going? Um, it's nice to speak with you again. Um, and congratulations on, run, on running a very successful event in Dublin in towards mid-May. Hi, hi everyone. I'm Ali. I'm uh, from Kodos. Uh, at Kodos, uh, we've been working closely with Sage as an established business partner for over 30 years, but we are also an award-winning platinum accredited developer. And we were one of the first ones to actually sign on as an ISV for Sage 200 back in 2016. And um, our relationship with Sage has continued to grow as, as our relationship with working closely with Sage and business partners such as Acon and Accelerator um, has been in existence since 2005 and it won the Sage Innovation Award in 2006, Accelerator being one of our key products, which is um, um, uh, being, you know, which uh, you, uh, can be ordered um, through Sage themselves. And um, it's gone through many iterations, enhancements, changes over the years to make it more modern and more compatible with existing Sage 200 versions. So yeah, uh, looking forward to actually having a chat with you and talking more about it. Great, great, and you know, you, you so you one one of the one of the first applications really really to to hit the the sales sales marketplace, and you, you know how how have you seen the marketplace evolve yourself, Ali, over the years? I think um it's been it's been an interesting journey over the last uh, six years. Um, uh, we've actually been able to grow our our, our customer base working with other sage business partners such as yourself and um, accelerator has gone gotten um, more traction and um, over the last um, six seven years what we've actually done is based on feedback uh, from customers and requests from customers we've been adding modules gradually to accelerator so there have been like new modules that we've uh, continued to introduce over the last uh, few years like uh, uh, price lists and price bands stock transfers uh, the invoicing module, because we used to have the sales order accelerator, which is still one of our most popular modules, but, you know, uh, modules like invoicing, because that was introduced in Sage 200C uh, approximately five years back. And, you know, so new modules have been introduced based on demand, based on feedback and based on how the market has genuinely been evolving. Yeah. And then there's a there's a lot of applications out there on the marketplace at this point in time, and, and you know how you've seen it in uh, evolve, Ali. I mean, where exactly do uh, Acodas play the part here in terms of the accelerator uh, solution? You know, what's it actually empowering users to do in today's modern environment, where where you see a load of modern applications? Yeah, that's actually a very 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 good question, Johnny. What I'll do is I'll quickly share uh, share my screen and I'll take you through a few PowerPoint slides, which will allow yep. me to um, um, discuss the customers of Accelerator and talk more about Accelerator and how it can specifically benefit customers and how it's actually been helping customers over the years as well. So if I can just actually share my screen and we'll start talking through this. Right, so We've grown our accelerator customer base working with business partners such as Acon. And um, yeah. we've actually established is that accelerator can help companies of all sizes, small companies, medium sized companies, large companies as well. As you'll see, we've got quite a diverse list of, um, of customers. These are this is just a quick snapshot of some of the customers to give you an idea of the different kind of sizes and the different in industries that can actually benefit. Uh, by using Accelerator to cut their data processing costs in Sage 200 by over 50%. So Walgreen Boots Alliance, the global pharmaceutical company and owner of Boots, are our clients in using Accelerator. And uh, Merlin Entertainment is the global pharmaceutical company. Uh, so Merlin Entertainment is the global leader in location-based family entertainment. They're, they're users of Accelerator, and you'll see other household names as well. More specifically about Accelerator and how it works, I know there is um, 
there is a concept that you know that uh, the um, spreadsheets um, and Excel based spreadsheets should be avoided at all costs and you know uh, people should try and stop um, and not use them. But the fact of the matter is, is um, Accelerator, because it's an Excel based add in, is what's actually made it so popular. Um, the reason for that is, is Excel is still very, very familiar, it's still very popular amongst mm -hmm. finance uh, professionals. And although there has been a push over the years of actually getting people to stop using them, they haven't. A lot of the data that they actually get is in Excel. A lot of the exports that um, that that they actually get is still in Excel. It is still very, very familiar. 98% of financial users use Microsoft Excel every day. It is still the standard for data interchange between applications. Because it's so familiar, what we found is that less training is required. And once Accelerator is implemented in the morning, for example, users are usually up and running that same afternoon. The reason Excel is so popular and so, um, you know, it's and 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 users are so uh, comfortable with it is that it's also very flexible and very functional. An Accelerator allows you to leverage that. It allows you to use all of the flexibility and functionality of Excel. So all of the things that you can look to do in Excel, such as summarizing, filtering, autofill, using formulas for totaling, working with conditions, all of those things you can do with Accelerator. More specifically about the Accelerator, um, it's not just a data import tool, although that is one of its main core functionalities. The idea behind Accelerator is that it's Sage from your spreadsheet. So Accelerator lets you have access to Sage from your spreadsheet. The product is a two-way integration between Excel and Sage. It allows you to pull information down from Sage, um, down from Sage onto the spreadsheet, work on it in Excel, and push the updated information back up into Sage. This means you end up with reliable Sage data, which in turn leads to trusted business decisions. Accelerator gives you validation in Excel that enforces all of your Sage 200 business and accounting rules. It forces Excel to conform to accounting rules so that you can quickly identify and fix errors, which leads to faster and more accurate account management. The, uh, you can browse your Sage data directly in Excel, saving time spent doing manual searches in Sage. We have a lot of modules for Accelerator, nominal, nominal ledger journals, sales orders, purchase orders, stock master records, customer master records, and so on and so forth. And mm -hmm. whatever you're doing, if you need to look up something in Sage, the idea is you can browse and navigate a lot of that information from within your Excel spreadsheet and Accelerator lets you do all of that. So you don't have to minimize Excel, jump into Sage, look up that information and come back into Excel. It's completely customizable. Users can have customized spreadsheets. Screens can be laid out to suit the user. And it's this ease of use coupled with the functionality in Excel, which has made Accelerator so popular. Excel yeah. itself gives um, brings accurate data due to validation and of course the business rules. It saves you precious time so, so that you can add more value in your core role. It enables you to delegate tasks and share tasks um, as you have all the flexibility of Excel and all and all of your controls of Sage are maintained by Accelerator. And because it's Excel, minimum training is required because of the familiarity factor that we touched on earlier. Yeah, yeah, and of course, you know, talent retention and uh, and skills you know uh, is a huge thing when we transition into this the digital world and digital economy and, and the way things are going so be, being able to, to to hook into your your back office environment in, in such a seamless way i think is hugely beneficial especially so quick to deploy absolutely so that's one of that's one of the main customer benefits and yeah. so just uh, leading on from that Capitalizing on existing skills is a yep. main, like, is a very, very focal point of um, Accelerator. Because um, the thing is, there is a drive to automate business processes, right? But with integration, with automation, that can be a bit expensive. What Accelerator allows you to do is it's it automates a lot of your data processing functionality, but it keeps your cost down because it's Excel based. So you're not looking at a lot of uh, a lot of development work in the background. You're using yeah. Excel as the core platform um, to cut your data processing costs by up to 50%. And users still, as I mentioned earlier, users still have a lot of their data still in Excel, so they can leverage that data. And you know, um, so that makes them more efficient. That makes them more nimble. And they can you reduce development costs. And also, like you very very rightly mentioned reduce training costs as well. 
Yeah, hundred percent. And and so what 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 business functions within a business would this be geared towards, Ali? Uh, you know, with the, with the modules built up within within the platform. Yeah, so we've got modules which basically cover all pretty much all of the um, Sage two hundred modules. So we've got um, accelerator modules to cover the financial, the core financial functionality of Sage two hundred. So we yeah. have nominal ledger journals, which is our most popular module. But then we also have modules for for purchase ledger invoices, sales ledger invoices, sales receipt allocation, which allow you which allows you to actually receive your receipts and allocate at the same time or allocate against an invoice at a later date. There's also purchase ledger payment allocation, cash book payments and cash book receipts, which allow you to do your nominal payments and nominal receipts through your bank accounts. And they can be in foreign currency in, in your in your base currency, or they can be non vatable payments and receipts or or even vatable payments and receipts. And that really, really helps clients because you can actually download a lot of your information from your bank statements. And, you know, if those transactions aren't in Sage 200, then they'll be in your CSV file and then you can actually use that data, use our cash book payments or cash book receipts module and then get that information into Sage very, very quickly. On the commercial module side of things, sales order processing is one of our most popular modules, but then we also have modules for purchase order processing. Again, very popular. We've got stock master records, a stock accelerator, which allows you to add and maintain your stock records, stock transfers, stock with manufacturing. So it covers a large base of um, different uh, di different modules. One of the things that we um, that we've recently introduced, and hopefully we can show that to some of your your some of the clients of Acon at some point, is when you're doing an order using Accelerator at the moment, from your Excel sheet you can print that order. Or if you're if you're if you're if you're processing an invoice in Accelerator from that Excel sheet you can print that invoice and it will print using your Sage layout. So it's not going to print it in Excel format. Whatever layout you had defined for that order or for that invoice in Sage in Report yeah. Designer, it will use that layout and allow you to actually actually uh, I print that. So a lot of the bases um, are covered on the financial and commercial sides of the modules for Accelerator. Hundred percent, Ali. So uh, one one part and gift for our audience here, but but before we leave, Ali, you know, and and you know, this this may be music to your ears or to our ears, but you know, there's obviously a lot of potentially ERP buyers out there at the moment. You know, there's a lot of Sage users out there at the moment. All yeah. want to get the most out of Sage or or an ERP system or financial management system on the market right now because of this digital transition go, going on in the market and has been. Well, you know we're 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 ready to go. You know the, the outside environment, the macro environment is driving more and more businesses to start to integrate their systems. Okay, so there was a huge opportunity here, Ali. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the key the key question is the what does your ideal customer look like? I mean, what is the sweet spot for Codus? You know, if a customer is coming to buy from from yourselves or, or investigating their options here on their digital journey, what does ideal look like? You know, as you know, I can see the benefits, speed and efficiencies without doubt. But you know, what is a key customer? What 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 do they do in every day? How they process and things at the minute? How how you know how quickly can you transform them? What what does that what does that look like yeah. to, to you guys you know, with your experience here? Absolutely. So um, one of the, one of the things that we covered in the quick snapshot of the PowerPoint slide when I was actually yeah. showing you the different kind of customers, it is um it is literally all types of Sage 200 users that we can essentially cater to. So people who are looking to cut down on their data processing costs, people who are looking to save time on training, people who are looking to automate some of their processes but do not want to actually um, incur the development costs for integration, and but they right. still want to have the flexibility of Excel because it makes everything um, easier for you to uh, review. I'll give you an example. We have a client, we yeah. have a customer who who every every six months have a need to process over 25,000 invoices and that has to be done right. within a couple of weeks and they're using Accelerator as a core platform um, to essentially yep. do that. 
but then we we also have um, uh, clients who need to process complex journals, you know, uh, and different yeah. types of journals. They can be payroll journals, revenue journals, accrual journals, prepayment journals, journals with information coming from different sources. Because it's Excel, they can link all of those sheets why uh, why Excel formulas and stuff, and you know they can process those complex journals. And then we have people who are looking to process orders very very quickly or get quotes out very very quickly. I think one of your customers, um, which which you guys introduced us to, uh, which is a firm, which is a furniture manufacturing company, they needed to get out lots and lots of different quotes, but only enter the information want or, uh, once on a on a particular sheet. We will we now they can do that do that with accelerator. So they enter the information once. And there are different accelerator tabs at the bottom, and the information gets fed out based on the different combinations of stock items that they're looking to actually do. Um, so a large number of customers and uh, a large uh, number of things um, that they're actually looking for. Fantastic, Ali. You know, uh, yeah, I'm a customer. I've bought in our alley for a number of reasons. L longevity on the marketplace is have came on the seeds, is haven't gone away anywhere, and is have progressed through the years. Yeah, and you just aren't going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you know, keeping down the cost and all I mean process, especially in a large volume, large transaction business, nailed on. You know, come speak to us and we can show you this one to one demonstration. Absolutely. Uh, you know, through business you like, your, like, like yourself, it's become very, very yeah. popular. Over the course of its life since its inception, over 5,000, close to 6,000 licenses of Accelerator have been sold, and uh, we just continue to add to it effectively every month. Phenomenal success story, Ali, and, and long may it continue. Thank thank, thank you, you for joining us today. And you know, you know how to reach us. If, if you ever want to get a demonstration, you know, you can click click the link below. And uh thank thanks very much, Ali. Over thank you, night. Johnny. It was a pleasure.